Kathy, tonight the FBI says it has spoken to another man described today as a person of interest. And the terror suspect's wife is cooperating with investigators. And we've learned this was a meticulously planned attack. The terror suspect even making a dry run last week. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I, I, I need an ambulance right here. Video of a mangled school bus, rescuers rushing to get to children inside. Investigators say Sefulo Saipov planned this rampage for weeks. On Halloween, just after 2 p.m., renting a large truck at this Home Depot in New Jersey. At 243, license plate readers that record every vehicle on the George Washington Bridge show him exiting the bridge into New York City. Minutes later, cameras outside the Holland Tunnel show the truck swerving into the bike lane. After Saipov crashes, he wanders outside the truck holding a paintball and pellet gun. Officer Ryan Nash shoots him. Although I feel that we were just doing our job, like thousands of officers do every day, I understand the importance of yesterday's events and the role we played, and I'm grateful for the recognition. He appears to have followed um, almost exactly to AT the instructions that ISIS has put out in its social media channels. Federal officials say the terror suspect made a full confession from his hospital bed. The 29-year-old appearing in court sitting in a wheelchair today. He grew up in Uzbekistan, but moved around in the U.S. from Tampa to Cincinnati to Cleveland to New Jersey. In today's criminal complaint, prosecutors say the terror suspect wanted to hang an ISIS flag from that truck but changed his mind, not wanting to attract more attention. Alan and Kathy, investigators also say he wanted to keep going and try and take people out on the Brooklyn Bridge as well.